Yeah. And then quickly, still talking about Legon. I heard that the story about the whole Samini imitation here and there. And I want to hear it from the horse's own mouth. Yeah. So uh, give us give uh, us the gist. So Samini, I used to love a boy. I love a boy because of how I love lyrics. If you have good lyrics, mm -hmm. you get me. So a boy and his you know, his style of performance and his style of music was one thing that I really loved. Then I was in a barbering saloon and then I heard the rhythm pa da pam pa da pa da pam pa da pam pam pa da da pa. Back then that was like my favorite matching song. Mm -hmm. And if there's seat match coming in, that is the reason why I want to match. Yeah. So I will make sure I'll be of good behavior so that I'm selected to go and match. Mm -hmm. So when I heard someone had produced a song with that rhythm, I was like, oh. who is this genius? Yeah. Then, for some funny reason, I had the chorus, and then the next chorus, I was singing it. Mm. And then the Baba was like, you sound like him. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I went to look for who that artist was. And I realized it was Batman. Mm. So I went to YouTube, searched Batman, and I saw the guy, and I'm <laughs> like, whoa, because his performance, his stagecraft, his, his energy, I'm like, who is this person? So I started looking for songs and almost every song i heard it was on had a different feel different texture mm -hmm. and yes i mean it sounds the same so when you say no one so i have the husky yeah music. i got to legon and then they said um is it talento expo or quaba night they move back when they were like if you want to yeah you have 100 and you want to do something come i said yeah i'll do some mini the band was like oh baby i'm a secret man Yes, okay. come for us. I went for us. I didn't even know you had to have a key because that was my first time doing live band. Okay. I would stand in front of the mirror and I will reenact everything I had watched Samini do. Mm -hmm. So immediately they gave me the mic. I wanted to sing like him, you know, do other things. Like, hey, bro, calm down, calm mm -hmm. down. So they taught me, taught me, taught me, taught me how to pick keys, how to stay in key, how to timing, etc. Hmm. And then that's one of your pictures with you. No, this was a performance actually. Mm -hmm. So this African Legends Night, I was the host, and they were going to give him a Hall of Fame um, an award. Uh, yes, I exactly. Mean, okay. So he had finished performing, and I used his rhythm to do a freestyle, inviting mm -hmm. him for my upcoming concert, Romano Sing Complete. Okay, I think so, I've seen the video. Yeah, somewhere. so we did like a freestyle kind of thing. So yeah, that day I was there, I said they should introduce me. They should just say, we have a surprise for you. So I was backstage, people thought it was over, because I was the last performer. People thought it was over, and I was back, I just started. Yeah, go. And then... And how, how was his reaction? For him? Yeah. He's, I mean, like, the first time he saw me do it was on his show. Sure, okay. Uh, Samini Fest, I think three or two years ago. He was like, mm -hmm. he had heard it. Yeah. He knew I did a song, but... He had he not, seen you it. know, seen it and witnessed it first time. So, live on stage, I, I imitated him and he was blown away. And yeah, 